Pisces. Come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen TV. All right, Pisces. Let's do you your love reading for today. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. With all of you. Can't get my words out. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. You can also watch extended videos if you join my channel. Join the membership to my channel on the uh, Gen TV crew tier. And you can purchase my videos individually on my website, gentvtarot.com. It's cheaper for you to go to Patreon, though. I'm going to open up a few spots for readings over Christmas. So if you get one, you're lucky. Oh, just a few spots. It's my Christmas gift to you. It's not really a gift because, you know, you're paying for it. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, yeah, I'm going to open up a few spots, like four spots, I think. All right, Pisces. I have a sad feeling here. I'm rel relating it to a time in my life where I, I, uh, didn't feel very loved. More like feeling unloved, not not feeling loved. It's it's more of quite the opposite. There's no love. Yeah. You are possibly physically more likely emotionally at a distance from the one you love. There's been a betrayal. I feel like it's it's showing up as you are the one who's distanced to yourself. But let me have a look. Tell me more about that. And it's kind of a bit of both, I'm going to say. I want to say that you distanced yourself at the beginning from your love a little bit. Um, and then they pulled away from you. And it feels like they are the person that betrayed you. They should have tried a little bit harder. That's, that's the feeling I'm getting. Like, they didn't fight for you in the end. really getting this it's really sad <sighs> overwhelming feeling like they should have fought for you you really thought that they would they betrayed you and they yes they, they literally they did nothing to make it better they, they didn't work on the connection it's a feeling of torment and sadness. Um, let's put some of these. Anything else Pisces needs to know right now? They should have loved you enough to fight for you is what you're thinking, so you feel like you're unloved. <coughs> I 
and my throat chakra is getting pretty. <clears throat> this is the seventh chakra, though. This is the crown chakra. I, um, you know what I'm getting? We've got strategy. Some, I, I feel like this is a game that this person is playing. They betrayed you, and you distanced yourself, and then they just walked away. That's that's the story here. And they didn't fight for you, and this is just a game they're playing now. They're waiting for you to come back and say that you were sorry. That's what's coming up in the near future. Well, I've been waiting for you to uh, apologise. This person betrayed you. Why should you say sorry? But you feel... Uh... Okay. This person's gonna try and come back in romantically. Um, confuse you. It's going to feel really lovely for a minute there, like you're getting the apology you feel like you deserved, maybe, for about five minutes. This is all their strategy to win. This relationship, if it gets back together, it won't last. The reason you broke up in the first place is the reason you'll break up again. So don't go back and make the same mistakes. You've already been through this cycle with this person. You don't need to keep putting your hand back in the fire. It hurt the first time, right? Ow! Damn! So like, the second time you put your hand back in the fire, you crazy. That, that hurt the it burnt ow blisters and stuff <laughs> conquest is the word that's coming up in this person's eyes it's just you distance yourself they want to win they want to they want to show their ego that they can get you back like that what you can and need to do in this situation is set your boundaries put them up and walk away now there's eight cups there on the beach it's not quite your wish fulfillment is it this your nine of cups is where are we? This is your nine of cups. This is your wish fulfillment. This isn't quite that. You didn't really get your full nine cups or your ten cups. So it's time to walk away from those. It's it's not what you wanted. It wasn't your wish. So it's time to put your boundaries up and say, no, you're not coming back in and making a fool of me again. We're done. The best you can hope for is a feeling of loss. Can you just turn around there? Look! Two of Cups is still standing. Two of Cups is amazing. It's beautiful. You've lost this person. They lost you. That's done. You've still got wonderful things in your life to look forward to. Joy. And a real relationship. A grown-up one. Yeah, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Someone who isn't selfish in the sack. Know what I'm saying? Something that you need to work on within yourself. This is you. Something you need to work on is you don't need to fix somebody. 
that feeling of I can make them love me. That's that's not how a good relationship needs to start. I could make them happy, I could make them love me. That's just you constantly going to be chasing your tail with that one and you're never going to catch it. So this is what you need to fix within yourself, that need to heal somebody, that need to fix someone who's who's broken, who's who's lost. That's, that's not your place, they kind of need to do that themselves. So this person I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna read read them and the outcome here and then I'm gonna take it into the extended but I wanna tell you in the extended I'm gonna ask about this person how do they really feel about you what do they feel in their heart space towards you what's their intentions towards you what do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe but them in this connection we've got the seven of pentacles in reverse they're not willing to put in the work to make this beautiful the outcome is it doesn't have a future it's got no bones it's got no legs it's not going anywhere it's not moving forward longevity it's not going anywhere let's see what what the uh, love angels want to say about this a couple of cards from the love angels for pisces please past life relationship you have known each other before, so it could be a karmic connection. Yay! <laughs> Alright, you've dealt with some karma in this life. You know the best way to deal with karma in this life is just to go, you know what, I'm not coming back and doing this with you again. I'm going to forgive you for this, but we're not getting back together. I'm going to forgive you. It was a wild ride. I've learnt a lot from it, thanks, but we're done. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So, you know, something's coming along. So, be patient. Wait. Love is in the air. Let's pull ya. Your moonology. Look at the bigger picture. Yeah. With this person, let's take a, a real good look at the bigger picture. Do you really want to go through all of this again? It hurt the first time around. It will hurt again. Trust me. This is the best you can hope for is that you're always going to just feel like you're at a loss with this person. You haven't got a future. There's too many games. You feel unloved now in this connection. That's not going to change. And it's not because you're unlovable. It's because this isn't the right person for you. And... Divine time is doing its thing. Something's coming along that's well worth the wait. So walk away. Okay? Thanks for joining me. See you later.